do you want to stop the severe struggling stuttering where you're out of control and obsessing about your stuttering all of the time why there has been for me there was enough of a hurt on in my youth as a child especially and then also in high school and in college where I decided that there there has to be a way how I can make uh, how I can make inroads uh, in helping myself to become a better speaker and communicator and what I found out is that for me the psychology where you first of all approach the the irrational thing irrational thinking about stuttering as something awful unbearable horrible something that ruins my life and makes me a piece of crap that kind of thinking had to go there's uh, cognitive behavior therapies now and there are also rational there is also rational emotive behavior therapy that I used but it it gave me a good strong found foundation where I was able to teach myself to accept stuttering first and then to accept myself with or without my stuttering once I desensitized myself towards stuttering then I was able to start to speak much better and on occasions I used some of the tools in order to get better uh, at speaking one of the tools that I, I really enjoyed was what is called an Iowa bounce an easy re repetitions easy repetition of sounds and it is what we used to do before we started to stutter as in mama dada papa and all of that and so in an easy eye of a bounce you repeat uh, syllables up until you have a good control you feel you're in charge of the speaking now that of course takes some practice and sometimes it takes some professional help if you're interested in uh, in some of uh, the other thinking that I have had about this whole matter of stuttering you can go on my website this is just a small reminder that uh, there is hope people can can get better and not have as as hard of a stuttering uh, as they do now <laughs>